Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Xerox Dev Talks. So in this episode, I'm really excited to talk about our newly released feature, our trade analytics in the Xerox dashboard. These trade analytics features allows you as a Xerox developer um, to get actionable insights and provide you really in-depth charts um, with the ability to easily track key metrics about your users, see what they're doing in app and on chain. And this feature is actually available to all of our paid plans. To share with us more about how to use it, you know, why you should use it, uh, is our guest today, Teju, who is the PM who led this project. So really excited to have her on to talk through the trade analytics dashboard and give us a tour around it. Hey Teju, sure. how's it going? Hi, thank you, Jessica. Yeah. Super excited to be here. Yeah, same. Help us understand like why as a developer should we be using this dashboard? Sure. Uh, so internally at Xerox, we're very data driven. So the Matcha team, for instance, Xerox team, we're constantly looking at things like volume, the kinds of users we have so we can make product decisions. And we essentially wanted to give all of our developers that as well. So the ability to see what your users are doing beyond when they um, sort of initiate the trade on your app. There's also a lot of data available on chain around the kinds of trades that your users are doing and things like that. So we wanted to surface that in a very easy way. So if you if you're a large team and maybe even have like a data analytics team, maybe you have some of this data already. But if you're a much smaller team um, where everyone is like heads down building, you only have devs, for instance you might not have the time to have data analytics or so like dedicated data analytics. And this is just one way to do that where we're surfacing the most important metrics for you. Also even like going beyond that to draw out key insights um, based on all of your data that, um, that is available on chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. You know, we have teams of all sizes and some might have a full fully fledged data team that can pull out this information. I mean, we see a lot of our, our newer teams coming in or maybe on the smaller to medium sized scale. And so having like really focused data that they don't have to go off on their own to get is really, really powerful. So with that, we'll just jump into the dashboard and give us a tour right now. Okay, sure. If this is your first time seeing this, this is the Xerox dashboard, which is essentially the home base for developers and teams that use Xerox, um, where they can get access to creating a new app, all of our services, see things like API stats, and um, if they're erroring out and things like that, rotate their API keys, essentially the home base for everything Xerox. And so with the Trade analytics, what we've done is highlight on-chain data about specific um, teams. So in this view, this is sort of my own app um, or my own team rather. And what you can see here is first we have like the volume trades active users. So things that we think are the most fundamental if you are an app where you want to understand what's exactly happening. Um, and with this, we have time series data. So essentially data that lasts as long as 30 days to 12 months, depending on what plan you're on. We have the trades and active users, and you can also see beneath there the growth rates um, of these over the time period that you've chosen. Um, this here is one of my favorite features here, which is the Xerox Insights card. So we can show you essentially every single chart or every single visualization of your data, but we pull on some of the most interesting insights that we um, that we're able to garner from your data. So things around um, where you're generating your uh, most of your swap revenue from, if you have, if most of your users are returning users, things like that. So we have um, an array of these insights that we'll pull from time to time based on your data. And it will have things from the kinds of users you have, to the kinds of revenue you're generating, to maybe even like specific highlights on users. So for instance, if you have a new whale trading on your app, that's somewhere that we will highlight that kind of information. Um, and that data has always been populated, so it's something new every time you refresh. Um, we also highlight your revenue. And this is very important because with Xerox is very easy to earn revenue if you are a DeFi app. You can essentially just set a fee um, amount parameter and the address you want when you're making an API request and we remit it basically within the same trade. Um, and with this dashboard, you can track how much revenue you've been generating, what the average is um, over time as well. We also have the trade distribution, which tells you what kinds of users you have. So do you have a ton of wheels trading? Are most of your users um, sort of like more retail type users trading just a little amount at a time? This also helps you notice, for instance, if you see 
um, a spike in volume, but um, you're saying that that's coming from a majority of large trades. It can show you that um, you're not getting a ton of new trades, but maybe you've been attracting a bunch of whales. And finally, we have the top tokens or top pairs traded. And what this helps you do is on, on one hand, just see what pairs you're getting all of the traffic from, but it could also be a source of insights in terms of are there communities that you should be trying to connect with? Um, maybe you're seeing trades on certain pairs and these are communities that you can tap in, do some marketing with, optimize your product around and things like that. Um, so we've started with these key um, metrics and key insights where you can also filter them by the app that you have, the services, swap and TX relay, as well as the chains. And then you can filter by both the amount of time you want to see the data for, so the date range, um, and also the frequency that you'd like to see the data around. So that was a lot of great information that you just showed us that's available uh, through the dashboard now. Can you tell me about how we're getting this information? Um, sure. So this is all data from this specific app that is settled on Xerox protocol um, or trades through Xerox. Essentially, every block we're scraping, all of the data around this, we store them internally first for improving the Xerox product, but then we also expose it externally, one through this dashboard and two through a trade history API um, that some other teams are using today to build even things like this internally. So if you are a team that does have like your own full data team and has the bandwidth to do sort of like data visualizations like this for yourself, that's something that we've been working on um, and have available as well. So if you want access to the trade history API, you can reach out to our support team um, on dashboard.zurex.org. Thanks, Seju. So yeah, with that, is there anything else within the dashboard that you want to showcase uh, before we wrap up this episode? Beyond the sort of on-chain data, there's also data around actual API usage. Um, and that's what we have here um, behind the API stats button. Um, the API analytics page gives you an overview of the total requests you've made as well as what the errors are looking like. Um, and they can also be filtered by your apps, specific services and chains, as well as the um, this filters as well. And this just shows you, yeah, over time, you've been making all of these requests and also some indication around um, if, for instance, you're seeing a spike, if that is something that's normal, you can identify that with sort of the trend line here. So you have data on both what's happening on chain um, and then also data on the API essentially. Um, and we're planning to build all of these out um, a lot more to provide even richer data around the API end of it, all the way to the on-chain data. Um, so if you have any feature requests, um, any specific data points that you're interested in understanding about your app, um, feel free to also share with us via um, the support link on the dashboard. It's just here <laughs> behind this intercom tag. Nice. Yeah. And to, to essentially recap everything tishu has been, been showcasing. So we have this full fully built out trade analytic dashboard here that you can get information about the trades that are going through uh, through your application. You can see information such as like revenue. You can also tap into the that API status button uh, that she was just showing and uh, you really see the health of your API usage through your app. Reach out to us through support uh, if you have any questions. So yeah, thank you so much again, Tiju, for uh, this like delightful walk of the dashboard. So really excited to see it live and see how our builders are continuing to use it. So look forward to the builds that come through and any questions or comments that you have. If you're watching this and this is your first time hearing about Xerox, definitely recommend you check out the link below to set up your own dashboard and get started building uh, with our API products. Yeah, Bye. having you on. Thank you. Bye, Tiju.